So andropause, also known as male menopause, and it's a decline in testosterone which starts at the age of actually in the 40s. And like I said before, it's a little more gradual, it's more insidious than the menopause. Um, it peaks before the age of 30, again, just like we were talking about. Uh, all levels peak between 25 and 30. And it declines at a rate of 1 to 2% per year. And you'll see that in the, uh, by age 40, about 10%. By age 70, we have about 50% uh, of men have low levels. Um, for, for men, testosterone, as I said, really important. But they have less muscle, more fat, loss of bone, uh, libido is not good, erection problems as well, erectile dysfunction. Um, higher, tes and higher testosterone has actually been linked to lower levels of heart um, disease. Of course, there's age, HDL, and testosterone are all independent um, risk factors for coronary artery disease. Um, I guess what I hear most in the questions I hear are, well, wait a minute, isn't testosterone going to cause prostate cancer? And there's actually no link between testosterone and prostate cancer. There was one study, and I believe it was 1941, where they showed an association between testosterone and uh, prostate cancer that has never been repeated. Um, actually, in, there are some studies showing that uh, the lower the testosterone, the more aggressive um, the prostate cancer can be. Certainly, uh, estrogen levels are um, a problem uh, in males. They tend to um, decrease their testosterone, their estrogen goes up, and that really, for them, is not a good thing for their prostate health, their coronary artery health. Um, or just about anything else. I mean, they do need some estrogen for the mind, the bones, but too much is uh, not a good thing. Uh, of course, we measure the PSA. There are some tests that are going to be more specific that I've been working on for a while, but they're really not um, being used much uh, in clinical trials, things like that, but not really used regularly. And certainly a physical exam should be done.